Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Monday's video, and I just wanted to say welcome to all the new subscribers and to all of you that are helping um, make the first episode of Cloudy a success. So, I, I know we still have a good ways to go before we get a thousand views on it, but I think we're currently we're at a hundred and something, and I just put it up a few days ago. So, that's success in, in my book. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so yeah, so thank you. Anyway. So, but today's video is all about character creation, and this is a new character that is actually being, uh, well, that you guys will get introduced to in the second episode of Cloudy. So, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys the kind of step, or kind of behind the scenes process of how I go about creating some characters. So, for instance, uh, this right here is Lady Magnificent. <laughs> yes, uh, she has a very interesting name but anyway regardless um, that's her name and she's going to be in the second episode anyway so what I did is I just started off with doing this uh, kind of side um, profile of her and just just kind of get a, a, a feel for the way she would look if uh, I had the, um, the shot um, pointed this way at her um, you know and then also to the expression that I put on her face too she looks kind of um, kind of tense or whatever but okay so anyway so this is one this is one look right here but the, the important thing that some t that you guys might want to try if you're doing character creation is not just settle for just one drawing and say oh well here's my character um, do multiple um, multiple drawings of the character just so you can kind of get a uh, you know a good feel for it and what I'm going to show you actually is I'm going to come over here and I have a bunch of other layers that are hidden right now, and I'm going to turn them on, so let's go with that one here, and here. Okay, so as you can see, I have multiple shots of, you know, of her, different facial expressions. Um, these two right here are pretty much the same, but um, as far as like the, you know, the front view, but, you know, obviously the expressions are different, so it's, it's very helpful to to set up a you know a, kind of like a little workflow like this so when you're actually drawing if you're doing a comic um, or storyboarding or whatever um, you know just so you have this kind of as a reference card just so you can kind of come back and be like well let's see uh, you know for for instance if there's a part in the story that's going on you're like uh, what kind of expression would she be making for you know this particular moment or whatever and then you can literally just jump back to like this reference card right here and you can be like okay well maybe she's supposed to be like kind of I don't know tricking someone to be she's kind of being sneaky or something well then this would probably be a good reference card to work from um, you know or you know this one just kind of looks like she might be just listening to someone or she's thinking about something that someone is telling her you know so she's just kind of got like kind of stern uh, just kind of focused look and then obviously this one she looks very surprised so um, anything could be happening right there. So, and, and the other thing that's really cool is each one of these um, heads, um, they're all on a different layer. So actually, I'll be able to take one of these um, heads and later on when I'm drawing more in the comics, then I can actually add on. I can just draw, like, the rest of her body. And, um, and then, therefore, that saves me a ton of time on um, actually cre recreating the entire character. So, for instance, like, this was the same drawing right here. Um, well, I started with this drawing, and then I just duplicated that layer, and then I copied it here, and I just changed the face, the facial expression. So, that's something else that you guys can try doing, that's why I love Sketchbook Pro has layers, but that's something that you can do to, uh, to really cut down on the time, so you don't necessarily have to draw each, uh, you know, you don't have to draw the character over and over and over again, but, I mean, you can, you, you can, but still, you'll be able to save a lot of time and just being able to change different little things. Just how this drawing right here was the same as this one, but obviously I changed the facial expression. And you can do different things. For instance, like here, you can see on the helmet there's like no shine or anything. And up here I put little um, circles, little area, little spots for like where there would be maybe like something like reflecting on her helmet or something. Anyway, so that is just a quick little introduction to character creation. Um, I plan on going over this more as far as like with like um, body parts, um, like hands and things like that just to kind of show maybe well um, this right here, like this face, what kind of um, hand expressions would go good with that face. So little things like that. 
Anyway, though, but I hope that you guys have an awesome Monday. Hope you guys have a, had an awesome weekend. And uh, I, I got snow at my house this weekend. <laughs> so anyway, that was kind of cool. Um, anyway, so I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to look out for Cloudy Part 2. It should be out fairly soon. Um, I am kind of really excited to show you guys where the story is going to go from the last episode that we left off on. But um, anyway, let me know what you guys think of this artwork. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you in the next video. All right, take care.